Hey there and welcome to today's video. My name is Courtney and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, so a couple weeks ago I was walking around this local candy store that's not too far from me and I stumbled across this brand and I just, I was attracted to it because I was like, that looks colorful and fun, but I'd never heard of it. I believe it is pronounced Frunas. I'm, I apologize deeply, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, but everything looked really interesting and fun and after I believe I was reading this packaging that it says it is made in Colombia. So I was like, well, that would be really fun to get a bunch of different things and do a Colombian candy taste testing. So here we are. Um, they had three different items. So these things that are called Jungle Jollies. Um, these, which I, I'm guessing this is like the main, like this is what their main item is because all it says on them is Frunas. Um, and so there's a couple regular flavors, then I have a couple sour flavors, but these came in the most amount of flavors. Um, and then these actually say new on them, and they say Fruna's Slabs. So, let's just jump into it. Alright, I'm gonna start with these, since this is what I think are, like, the main, like, what they actually are. I, 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 don't, I, I don't really know, but we're just gonna jump into it. I did try to do some research, I looked them up but I couldn't really find much information other than where to buy them. So if you look it up, it's not too difficult to find where to buy them, but um, I couldn't find much information on the actual company itself or anything like that, so yeah. All right, so the flavor I'm starting with is strawberry. I don't smell like anything. Okay, so texture-wise and flavor-wise, that reminds me of a net one later. So, all right, this is blue raspberry. Okay, the blue raspberry was fantastic. So the next two are both sour. So I have sour blue raspberry and sour green apple. They had a bunch of regular flavors and a bunch of sour flavors, so I got two of each. And I'm interested to see how the sour blue raspberry compares to the regular one that I just ate. So, do that next. Okay, so Silly has joined us. If you've not met my cat, this is my cat Silly. Thank you. Um, oh my god, that is hands down one of the best candies I have ever had in my life. It was so flavorful, it was so sour. There's no weird artificial flavors to them, and they're packed full of flavor. Wow. Okay, so the sour ones are super, like, not super sour, but they are actually sour. Like, if you really like sour things and things that are actually really sour, that is a fantastic level of sourness. Such good flavor. No artificial weird flavors, anything like that. I'm very excited to try the green apple now. It's so sour. It's so good. It tastes like I was actually biting into a super sour Granny Smith apple. And I'm now very sad that I did not get these in every single flavor of the sours because this might be some of the best sour candy I have ever had. Hands down. So let's move on now to the slabs because I'm pretty sure the slabs are more than likely just like these but in almost like an airhead kind of form is what I'm guessing so I got two flavor of those I've got watermelon and cherry all right I'm gonna start with watermelon okay it's super soft, which is really nice. I really like the texture of it, but there's just not much flavor there. And especially in comparison to these that had a ton of flavor, this falls very flat. Let's see if the cherry can uh, outshine it. This one had a tiny bit more flavor, but these just fell pretty flat. I'm kind of disappointed. 
well, actually very disappointed. There's not much flavor there. They're not really even worth finishing. It's almost just like a plain taffy with a tiny bit of flavoring added to it. And in comparison, they're just not great. This one actually kind of reminds me of cotton candy in a way, like the aftertaste. But um, they're not bad. Okay, so on to the third thing. I'm really excited about these for more than one reason. So these are called Jungle Jollies, and I got them in three different flavors. I've got blue raspberry, green apple, and watermelon. But each of them also have an animal associated with them and a little fact. So the blue raspberry is gorilla, and it says gorillas build a nest each night for sleeping. Up to the age of three, they will share the nest with their mother. So I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, the watermelon is, oh, wait a second. Okay, the watermelon has hyena, but it also has tiger somewhere on it. Okay, but it says hyenas look remarkably similar to dogs, but in fact are more closely related to cats. Well, that's interesting. Silly, do you hear that? Should we get you a hyena friend? He, he looked at me. He gave, he gave me a look. Maybe? I'm just kidding, it would eat you. Okay, these must have like multiple animals on them because if you see where the, at the edge of it, there's a little tiger right there and it says tiger right there, but it runs off and there's no fact. How sad. Okay. Ooh, okay, so on the blue raspberry, it also has a hippopotamus, and it said hippos spend up to 16 hours in rivers and lakes to keep their massive bodies cool under the hot African sun. All right, green apple. All right, we've got a lion, and it says lions are the only cats that live in groups, which are called prides. I actually didn't know that one. Then again, I'm sure most of the people watching this knew that, so whatever. <laughs> um, and snake. Snakes don't have eyelids and they smell with their tongue. I think I knew the tongue thing, but the eyelids. Interesting. All right. Okay, so all three of them have a taffy texture. The blue raspberry one really lacks flavor, doesn't have much flavor, which is surprising because it's blue raspberry of these counterparts have a ton of flavor um the watermelon has a bit more flavor than the other one i do like that one um but it's still a bit lackluster and then the green apple has a lot more flavor but it's artificial green apple where in comparison to this sour green apple this tasted like i was really biting into a granny smith apple and this was more of like an artificial like this reminded me of um the why am i blanking what they're called now the green apple now and laters is what this reminded me of where this reminded me of like an upgraded version of green apple now and laters plus the sour added on top of that um so i thought that was really i think it's really interesting that this is all from one brand and it's three different products that they do taste different which i guess is smart they don't want all of their products to taste exactly the same because then you won't want to buy differentiating products um but i do think it's interesting how these have these really intense good flavors and then their other two products are kind of lackluster i would be really interested in trying more of these slabs in different flavors and seeing if any of the other flavors had more flavor i've said the word flavor a lot in the past however many minutes this video has been um but yeah I will for sure 100% be going back at some point to get more of these little bites because these are so freaking good. Like I, I'm, it's probably a good thing that they only come in these tiny little packages because I could very easily devour this very quickly. They're so good. Um, I also, I mentioned earlier that they are the texture of now and laters. I should clarify that they are the softness level of the chewy now and laters because regular now and laters you have to suck on a bit and are pretty hard whereas these you can bite straight into i should have clarified the chewy ones for sure but yeah okay i had a lot of fun doing this and try i really enjoy trying candy and food and snacks from other 
countries. So if you have recommendations for things you think that I can try that I have access to, please let me know in the comments because I am so into that and about that. I already have a good amount of candy set aside to do a foreign candy taste testing video, but I want to get through the holidays first because I got a lot of stuff for the holidays to taste test. So we'll do that first. I'll probably do the foreign candy taste testing in the new year. But anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun with it. If you have any recommendations or you want to see me do a part two of this brand with the rest of their different flavors and stuff, let me know in the comments. I am more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!